Well, hello everyone, it's Bob, and welcome back to another BobTube video. So today, as you might be able to see, we're playing a uh, computer game, sorry, called Rigs of Rods. Now, this is a very cool um, computer game. It's completely free and open source, so you can go and download it from their website. Whoa, those eyes are scary. So without any further ado, we'll be blathering on about open source stuff. Let's, let's get into this game. So we have a dude here. We have a, a nice dude. Let's just walk him around a bit. We've got some some very, like, old-fashioned... Let's see. Can we, like, click through this? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is good. Yeah. I kind of feel like let's game it out. Like, breaking the game in as many ways as possible. But... What is that? BobTube Shorts. Stop pinging me. It's so annoying. Um, let's maybe get a car out. Because this game is basically a vehicle simulation game. So let's start with a, um, start with this, just a simple kind of blue car, nothing too fancy. Got a horn? Sure have. Let me just make sure my OBS is set up properly so the desktop audio isn't on too much. So you can hear a little bit, but like not masses, because otherwise it will drown out my microphone, and that's not good. So let's just go for a little drive around here. I don't have a steering wheel, I'm just doing um, arrow keys and stuff, by the way, so... It won't be perfect, but I'll be trying my best. How fast are we going? Are we going like 70 or something now? Pretty good. Not bad at all. Alrighty. Let's... Oh wait, this is America. Right, let's go around this side there. That'll do. Let's just do a quick parking job here. Perfect. I'll shift into neutral, parking brake, and uh, engine. So there we go, that was the simple family car idea. Whoop, I said an engine. Alright, now the engine's off. So that's just the, the simple family car um, idea, but the, this it's not all that this game has to offer. So there are loads of different vehicles that you can have. For example, I can spawn in... Um, I spawn in can spawn in this rock buggy, which is a very cool thing. It's kind of like an off-roader, four-wheel drive, kind of rock climbing thing. And it's very, very cool. Just look at it over there. Like, it's not many rocks in this uh, map, but it is a very cool machine. It can climb up uh, steep surfaces and stuff. It's very, very epic. There are also lots and lots of construction vehicles in this. So, for example, I could also spawn... Um, sorry. I can also spawn this, which is um, an excavator, in fact. So you can see we have a nice little excavator here. Let's turn that on. Uh, yeah, there we go. Uh, yeah, look, our excavator is coming towards us. A bit faster? Yeah, there we go, look. So we now have a little excavator which is starting to come towards us. And I can turn it around this way, turn it around that way, and all of the arms and the diggers and the like attachments are all fully functional, which is very, very cool. I bet it's making so much noise right now, which can't be very nice for the old microphone. But there we go. That's a little bit of a show of this game. So now I'm just going to go for a drive around, making some comments as I go. And then I'm going to show you think, something that is probably intentional, but... I think I'm just really exploiting it. So let's hop in another car on our way back. Let's take, um, I think let's take a, like a BMW or something. Yeah, let's take a BMW. Let's take a, any 39. Yeah, let's do that. This is a nice, uh, blue car, I believe. There we go, yeah. Just spawn it in. Turn my volume up a little bit so I can hear the cars. All right, let's spawn this in, and let's get going. And off we go. So I'm going to drive around for a bit to show off the little bit of the map. So this does not come default. This is all installed through a thing called the Rig of Rods um, repository, which is part of the main menu. You're pinging me again. I'm going to put my phone on Do Not Disturb. Focus mode. Do 
Do a step. Whoops. What's happened here? What's happened here? Looks like we've been involved in a bit of an accident. Oof. That is not good. That is not good at all. <laughs> so now, that was a brilliant segue into what I was about to tell you about this game. If you haven't already noticed, it has quite a realistic collision system. So if we were to just accidentally, whoops, eat this car up in the air, when it came back down, what goes up must come down, and you can see, yeah, it's a little bit broken. Bruh. Let's go one more. Let's go again. Just casually ripping the doors off. Just yeet this up in the air again. OMG, look, gravity has stopped. Bump. <laughs> so yeah, it has a pretty good vehicle destruction uh, system, which is very satisfying. I wonder if this still drives. Yep, still works. That's fine. Not brand new, but hey, well, it works fine. Bruh. So there we go, yeah. It's a very fun thing to do. So, if I just spawn in another vehicle, like, for example, uh, this, an, M an MV4S, uh, yeah, you can do a bit of drifting, a bit of, like, running into stuff, get this thing really broken, then, Let's just use it up in the air a bit. Let's just grab it and yeet. Take a look. <laughs> this is a cockpit camera or like the cab camera. Nice. Let's see if it still drives. Hang on. Let's just flip this back onto the road. Oh, start up the engine. Oh, this one actually drives quite well. Look at that. That works fine. Limited to the speed of um, zero kilometers an hour, but still works fine. Interesting. Let me see how long I've been recording for. Eight minutes. There you go. That's that eight minute video of Rids of Rods. So I'm just going to show you one last thing uh, before we. Um, we finish this video which is that this game also has planes which is actually pretty neat so if I just go in and grab us a little plane uh, let's go with something like a twin otter then there we go if I just grab a little plane like a twin otter then we can just hop into the plane zoom out and we should be able to take this plane off start the engine with the throttle it's very loud turn it down Alright, let's get this thing turned around. Just whoop, bring it over there. Realistic physics be like. And now we can give it full throttle. Let's go. Do I have like the brakes on or something? Why is it not moving? Is it, is it meant to be moving? Bruh. Oh, look, it's flying now. That's amazing. I wonder how that happens. But in all seriousness, the planes in this, uh, the planes in this um, game are actually very cool. So mo all of this was downloaded through the repository. So when you first start playing this game, it actually comes with nothing built in. So you have to download everything through the the Rigs of Rods repository, but there are some very cool builds out there. Oh, look, there we go, we've got a plane flying now. There are some very cool things out there that you can go check out, and I really like this game because it's free, you know, why not have it? It doesn't take that much space, and I think it's just a really fun game to have. So I'll end the video 
with a little fly by the city. I'm just saying that if you're enjoying these Bob Cheap videos, um, sub to the channel would be absolutely amazing, and it really helps support me uh, to keep creating content for you. Because uh, recently I've been finding it a little bit difficult, but I was really wanted to get out a video this week, so I decided to just make this little one about the mix of rods. So, uh, with that said, I really hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you'll keep watching, and until then, I think I'll see you. Bye!